Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for a first look at Dordogne, which actually takes place in France. This game is a very interesting and beautifully done narrative story adventure game, which you actually are Mimi, a young woman who has undergone much heartbreak and hardship and now has to deal with the passing of her grandmother and reconnecting with her childhood. Let's check out this game now, shall we? Sorry, in a very dreary scene with the rain. But I will say this: I do love this, you know, th this water watercolor style esque art. What is your first memory? Mine... Mine is somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday. Whatever happened before... is gone. Forever gone. That's how it is for some people, you know? They don't remember their, a lot of their childhood past certain ages. don't remember anything. Sleeping in your car? Oh dear. Chapter 1 The House. This dream, again. My head hurts, and so does my back. Where's my phone? Must be dad. Message from Fabrice? Fabricier? Of course it's that. Where are you? Your mother is worried sick. As if you weren't. You should answer. Um, not far. Um, Dordogne? Quickly for once, let's see what he has to say. What are you hoping to achieve? You know what I want. I want to clear the house out. Nora left me a box. Memories I need to find out more. I need to do this. I need to find answers. Oh jeez. You don't. Come home. He'll never understand. He hates, hated Nora. Yeah, she's not here anymore. Let's see. Doesn't matter. The removal people are coming on Friday to get rid of all the junk. Do what you want, but you can't change the past. Hm. This is gonna be easy. Come on, Mimi, you can do it. Stop answering for now, or else he'll keep sending messages until I come home. In the same week, I lost my job, my grandmother Nora died, and I got my hands on two letters. Dear Fabrizio, I'm writing to you to let you know that in accordance with your mother's will, in your recent phone call that the Dordogne house, Dordogne house will be empty next week. I would like to express how deeply sorry I am for your loss. Nora was a friend of mine and I hope you don't mind me saying, but despite your differences, I know you care as much for her as she cared for you. Please let my office know if you change your mind regarding the house sale. 
given the current state of the market. I have no doubt you'll find a buyer before December, but a property like this should stay in the family. You will find in this envelope a few words addressed to your daughter. Thank you for giving it to her directly. My most sincere condolences. Simon Langiosu Langlios Yao, Notary Bordeaux, France. I, I butchered that name. Yeah, I stole this letter from my dad. He was never going to tell me about Nora, about my own grandmother. But the other message was a big surprise. It's such an interesting art style. I love it. Dear Mimi, this letter will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago. A choice I understood, but never accepted. This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. Had to make that a three point turn, did you? I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordogne. Look at the kitty. Forever with you, Nora. They're cute. All right, Mimi. I don't remember this place. I've been here before, but I don't remember anything. I wonder if, would they hide the key somewhere? see something in the letterbox. Oh, a key. Someone must have dropped it in there. Well, there we go. Let's empty that letterbox. Some ads. Missing cat. A letter. To Nora's family, I just heard about Nora's passing on what to share with you, my deepest sadness. The whole town shares your pain, and we hope you will find peace in knowing that, knowing how much good Nora did since she moved to the region in the 50s. Our most sincere condolences. Wow, she was pretty popular. Can't get my finger through the opening, but the letterbox is loose. I think I can lift it and shake it. Stuck at the bottom of the letterbox. Let's see if I can take the back off the letterbox. Okay. Are we just, just, well, I mean, I guess we're not destroying property, are we? Thankfully, I had a screwdriver in the car. Always a good idea to have tools like that, honestly. Go. Go. 
I'll take that. Okay. I'll be able to open the door. Yes. Now to the house. Wow, it's shaking. Well, um, come on, we got this. And oh, damn. I know you're nervous. You're nervous. You gotta go slowly, apparently. There we go. So. There we go. That's a very interesting door. I've never had a door with two knobs. One for turning and one for opening. Too bad I can't see a thing. For something to light the house. Don't you have a cell phone? Uh, wait, your cell phone doesn't have a, you okay, whatever. There we go, we got a candle at least. Okay, open the matchbox, grab a match, strike it. I like this gameplay, it's actually very charming. Stop talking to yourself, Mimi. Oh, it's okay. We all talk to ourselves. It's a pen. Wait. Is it a memory? It's a fountain pen. Hey, there's a note in here. What do we got here? Do you remember this pen? I knew you would find it right away. Yours truly, Nora. I spent a summer writing with this. Writing in my... Wait a minute. I remember. Memories. Make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. That was before we moved to the States. 1982, I think. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi! Yes? Say goodbye. Daddy seems like a businessman or some kind, I'm guessing. You were just a little tyke back then. That does not seem safe. Oh, don't be so grumpy. You'll have fun. Your Nora seems like a very nice lady. Come on, let's get your suitcase to your room. Whatever. Okay. You're so grumpy. Oh, what's this? Wait, is that... Okay, yeah, so that was to go there. Okay, so what else we got here? I just want to explore a little bit because... I hope I won't have to eat these. Aw, oh, they're tomatoes! I'm sure they're tasty. I don't like tomatoes, actually, so I know you feel though. Feels empty without Grandpa. Aww. Does that mean... Aww, that means Grandpa passed away first. I'm about to unpack first, or they'll tell me off. 
Well, we just had to explore, you know, because we're a kid. Low tire, but I gotta unpack first. I want to be in Paris for summer, not here. Oh, come on! Can I stay at home? I don't want to be here. I guess it's probably because she misses her friends, but me personally, me personally. I would miss my friends, but it's the countryside. It's beautiful. There's so many things to do. It's going to be a long summer. What do we got here? Collected a sticker. Or a rubber ducky pin. What else we got? I guess we can't run in uh, in our grandma's house, huh? Wish I stayed back in Paris. Oh, jeez. What am I doing here? You're spending time with your grandma. Looking around. You got a really big hat, but I'm guessing because it's a sun hat. I shouldn't be in here. It's the pantry. You don't want a snack? Alright, I guess no snacks. What do we got here? Oh, another sticker. Greetings from Mexico. Well, nice. All right, we're upstairs. It's locked. Guessing that's grandma's room? Hey, look. Bathroom. What's this? Oh. Apparently you can use the bathroom. Is it safe to have a tree indoors? I don't see why it's a problem. It's not like it's going to explosively grow. Okay, you're fine. Don't worry. What else we got? Oh, that one says don't go in there, apparently. Well, here we go. Hi, Grandma. Go and pack first, and we can have something to eat. Alright. Why do I gotta do this now? <laughs> Cause you're gonna be here for a bit, so why not? Right? Okay, so what do I grab? Oh. Oh! Oops, of course. It's got latches. We can't just open it without. So. I love this, actually. It's pretty cool. We gotta open this. Huh. Interesting. It, it just represents emotions of different kinds, I guess. These actions. I like Grandma, but without Grandpa, it's going to be strange. Give Grandma a chance. Your grandma loves you. What's that? Mom must have popped this in my suitcase. Oh, what's this? Yay! <laughs> Yay! Dordogne. It's a map of Dordogne. Okay. A map. That'll be useful if I can get out of the house. I'm sure you'll be able to get out of the house. All right, let's go downstairs and meet Grandma in the kitchen, shall we? Get ourselves a, 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 something to eat. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Ah, a sticker. Buttons. Boring. Don't to be such a sour sack. Hey, Grandma. 
All done? Yep, can I go play now? It's dinner time soon. Uh, why don't you go draw something? There's a paper in the living room. Let's go be artistic. Your dad told me you had some homework to do over the summer for your new school. Huh. Boo, homework. Shouldn't give kids homework over the summer. Yay. What's this? Collected the binder. Couldn't find any paper, so let's use this old thing. Draw. I'm not seven anymore. What should I draw? Gonna draw a figure. I'm guessing this is her dad. Her dad is a businessman if he's wearing a tie and a suit. Oh, that's a pinstripe suit. Parents, always a safe choice. Alright, well. We're being I'm I'm I forget how young you are in at this age, but what? for being what a half pie, it's not that it's, bad. This isn't I for didn't drawing. Know. It looked old and Of course it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that I <laughs> Oh She's sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Mimi. Oh, Sorry, I thought... No, it's fine, sweetie. You never shown me that binder before. Is it a secret? I usually lock it up in the attic. Oh. What is it exactly? It's a binder. An old thing I've had for decades. This binder is very important to me. Your grandfather, your grandfather and I, we used to use it to write to each other through these pages. So it's precious? Yes, but maybe, you know what? Why don't you take it? Aww. Take it, why? Because it wasn't meant to end. We used a binder so it would never be over. We could always add pages. Do you understand? I think so. It's like a never ending book. A never ending story? Promise me you'll keep writing and drawing in it. That you'll keep it alive. Would you like me to show you how to use it? Yeah. First, you can write everything you need to remember to do here. Let's add the map your mother gave to you this way. That you can, uh, this way you can't get lost. We always kept the binder organized, so I hope you'll do the same with the tabs. All the little memories you've collected are tidied and stored here. Maybe you'll put some new stuff in the binder over the holiday. I'll let you explore it by yourself. Huh. Oh, okay, so chapter one so far has these words that I found. And then, of course, these are the stickers I have found. Okay, so I'm missing one actually. Interesting. Me 
memories. And we're back. Chapter 2. The River. The Binder. I remember it now. Maybe the Binder is in... Box? The candle won't last forever. Let's open the shutters. Can't open the shutters there. What about here? There we go. So. Okay. Your house is automatic, apparently. Opens all the shutters. You open one. Let's see if we can find that binder. Pictures of strangers? I don't think they're strangers. I think they're your fr your grandma's friends. Couch is old, but it looks extremely comfy. Nothing here. I guess we can keep looking. No blinds for here, apparently. go. That's better. This place hasn't changed. What do we got here? Wait, I can't interact with that? It looked like I could. This is Nora's kitchen. Always spotless. Open this. No, we can't. Okay. Go in here. Anything to look at? This room is a mystery to me. Where would this notebook be? Upstairs, maybe? Let's see. Was that all supposed to rhyme? No. I haven't been here in 20 years. Grandma left me a box. Should be in my room, right? Can't see a thing. Let's open the shutters. Let there be light. Feels good, I bet. The nice country air. Let's see what's in here. Hey look, a cassette tape. For those of you who don't know what that is, that used to hold music and sound. This is ancient. Where am I gonna find a tape player in 2002? Or 2002? Letters. I'd better save them. I don't want the removal people to throw them away. Let's see. Dear Edouard, This trip to Paris is wearing me out and I miss our old house terribly. Yesterday for lunch, I saw some colleagues from the agency. Michelle says hi. I met some new architects, including a couple of very bright interns. The stench of cigarettes and cold coffee, the crumbled paper sheets, the tables covered in drawings. What a joy to find again these half-forgotten memories. I immediately felt a strange lassitude and went back to the hotel. I had arrested to meet Helena, Fabrice's new girlfriend. Dinner was a small bistro in Porte Malo. Oysters because I absolutely love them. Elena comes from a very wealthy family, but she is quite nice, if a little uptight. You know me, I couldn't stop teasing her about that, and Fabrice and I started one of our little arguments. If you had been there, you would have found the right words to calm them down, so I couldn't, so I lost my temper. Time for me to leave, it's quite late. I would like to sleep before the next leg of my trip. Tomorrow is Nantes. After tomorrow is Quiberon. 
I will be back as planned next week by the 4 p.m. train. Until then, I drop a kiss on your lips, your Nora. Aww. Mom and Nora meeting. That was tense. Hmm. Late 1970s, she was already pregnant with me. Oh. Paris, August 28th, 1978. I'm taking the time to write down these few words in the hopes that you will be able to forgive your son. After our rushed exit from your house, I couldn't find the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was for the words he used. I know Fabrice and you do not often agree, but I dare to believe that between a child and their parents, there must be a form of respect that should not be broken. I also believe that this whole scene was not a good show for my little Mimi. Obviously you have the right to see her. I wish for my daughter to have exciting and meaningful moments with her grandparents. She must grow up knowing she can count on you as much as she can count on us. I would request for you not to disclose this letter or its contents to Fabrice. Thank you, your daughter-in-law, Helena. Wait, did... Okay. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the drawer. What? An old camera. My old camera. Huh. Okay, but can I open this? Unfold the flash. <laughs> oh! It's like a... It's a Polaroid. Okay. Uh, where do these... Oh, they go right here. Duh. There we go. Now it's got a lanyard. Figure out a way to load it. We're right there. So. And now we can take a picture. Oh. <laughs> it works after all these years. Another memory. <laughs> wakey wakey nine. it's time for some eggs and bakey time for breakfast <clears throat> come on I I remember how hard it was the first few days far from home get ready for the day Second day, I can't believe I'm gonna have to spend four weeks in here. You should make the best of it. I know that's hard, you know, you're young, and uh, not easy to understand that make the best of it thing. Breakfast is ready. Right, time to go down. You, you look so sad. I wish, uh, we shouldn't have to be that way. Oh, look, a sticker. Flowers. Okay. Now, is there any stickers that I missed here? Like that. Rubber ducky sticker. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to keep doing that. I mean, I guess you're human. You have to go to the bathroom, right? Wait, wait, wait. Sunbeam. I'll take that. So I guess I have to collect words and words and stickers, which will equate to memories. What's this? It. What is that?
warmth. Found another word. Let's see. Just want to do a little bit of exploring because we missed a sticker in the last chapter, apparently. And I don't know. I don't want to miss anything right now. There is... Oh! Wow, I just missed this whole place. Albums! Okay. Silence. Oh, we found a word. No. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, look! The tape. Let's see what else. Anything else? Exploring that's kid? Nope. Let us keep a moving. Ooh. Hello, Granny. We have come to uh, look around and find things. Hey, look, a tape. Let's see, some bread, some cheese, some honey. Pour some milk, okay? Oh! Uh-oh! Oh! Where am I pouring the milk? Oh! I was, uh... Not at the right- I can- I can actually change the depth I am in. I did not realize that. Okay, so... There we go. This milk smells weird. It's because it's real milk, not what you get in Paris. And not what you'll get in America. Hungry? I've made some toast. Lost. color of butter alone chestnut honey dreadful ingredients but I like it your mother insisted it's full of sugar they're sugary cereals I know I know they're not the best for you you can have a little bit no more okay habits You're just making me drop cereal everywhere. What? That's not enough? Need more? Oh, jeez. I'm just making a mess. Don't mind me, Grandma. Is that not enough cereal? How much cereal am I needing to pour? to say friends I want to see my friends I know you miss your parents and your friends and I know it's unfair let's go out and just do something there you go she would usually have snapped or shouted but she simply she gave me something 
I could tell she was forcing herself to be nice. I don't know if that's the case. I think Grandma just wants to spend time with you. I remember now. We would be walking down to the river. She'd be quiet. Lost in her thoughts. My father hated it when I did that. He probably hated his mother too when she was like that. The river, the pebbles, the cold, cold water. The doll den. Yay! The river banks. Ooh, it's pretty. The view is gorgeous from the middle of the river. But here, take this. It's the camera! Aw, oh, your grandma gave it to you. Oh, camera. It was your grandfather's, and now it's yours. Really? Look around. The view is spectacular. I'll get a picture from the middle of the river. Careful. Careful, little one. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Nice. Let's get a little bit of that in there, yeah? Ooh. Now that's pretty. Okay. One last picture, huh? Take a picture of Grandma. Your holidays got off to a bit of a rough start. But I do hope you're feeling better, sweetie. Yes, I think today was... Today was fun. I'm glad, sweetie. What kind of pictures are you gonna take with that camera? Nature? Pictures of nature. There's so much to see, Mimi, my love. Aww. I'll tell you what. Why don't we all note... Why don't we note all your ideas down in the binder? Decorate. I don't know how I exactly want to decorate my page. Sounds exciting. What do you say we put more headings in your binder so you can create some great pages? Craft your own page. Oh. Well, that's cute. Picture of Grandma, yeah? There we go. Two more words. Warmth. And one more. Wait. 
Oh no, did I just lose it all? Dang it. One second, let me fix that real quickly. I didn't mean for all of that to just disappear. Let's see, I believe we did that, right? And then that. And then that. There we go. There we go, it's cute. Page one. <laughs> the binder was a connection between me, is it between your grandfather and me? I think he would have loved seeing you use it. I miss him. Oh, I do too, my dear. I do too. Oh. Letters okay. from the past, poems, pictures, postcards. Huh? What's that? And a cat? Hello, kitty. Oh, it must be Nora's cat. She looks well, hungry. There was cat food in the kitchen. What's that noise? I'd better check. Uh, how did you? <laughs> I'll help you. Stay still, little one. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Hello, Missy. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh. I wasn't very brave there. I must be hungry. And I need that key. <laughs> Chapter three, the market. Alrighty then, everybody. I hate to say it, but this is where I'm going to end this particular first look at this game. Because we were just going to do a quick short look. Got through two chapters. And the game looks absolutely beautiful. I love the art style. It's charming. It's cute. And it touches on some interesting points now, doesn't it? Alrighty then. Now, if you do want to check out this game, it is available on Game Pass and, of course, available for purchase on Steam and, I believe, on all platforms, actually. It is a lot of fun, and I actually really do enjoy these story puzzle-based games. Thank you all so much for joining me, and now it's time to roll credits. Well, that's another video down. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate y'all. And of course, if anybody does want to continue to support me and help me in making better quality videos as well as making my dream of becoming a content creator come true, please do check out the links over here that will show you how you can support me. There's Twitch, there's Patreon, there's these other links on my link tree. And of course, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Alrighty then, have a great one, a love train, and on through, choo-choo. I love every single freaking one of you.